Welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. You are watching the campus television channel of Don Bosco College Kottayam. This lecture is on the prescribed syllabus of 3rd semester MA English Literature and Language. Paper is Linguistics and Structure of English Language. In this lecture, I am going to deal with uh, aspect model of Chomsky that is given by Noam Chomsky. Noam Chomsky, one of the most famous linguists of the 20th century, based his linguistic works on certain philosophical doctrines. His main contribution to linguistics is transformational generative grammar which is founded on mentalist philosophy. He opposes the behaviorist psychology in favor of innateism for explaining the acquisition of language. He claims that it becomes possible for human child to learn a language for the linguistic faculty with which the child is born and that the use of language for an adult is mostly a mental exercise. His idea uh, brought about a revolution in linguistics dubbed as Chomskyan revolution. According to him, the part of a language which is innate to human being would be called universal grammar. His philosophy holds a strong propensity to rationalism in search of a cognitive foundation. His theory is a continuation of analytic philosophy which puts language in a center of philosophical investigation. Aspects of the Theory of Syntax is a book on linguistics written by Noam Chomsky in the year 1965. In aspects, Chomsky presented a deeper, more extensive reformulation of transformational generative grammar. A new kind of syntactic theory that he had introduced in the year 1950s with the publication of his first book, Syntactic Structures. It is widely considered to be the foundational document and a proper book length articulation of Chomskyan theoretical framework of linguistics. It presented Chomsky's epistemological assumptions with a view to establishing linguistic theory making as a formal that is based on the manipulation of symbols and rules. Uh, as a formal discipline comparable to the physical sciences that is a domain of inquiry well defined in its nature and scope. From a philosophical perspective, it directed mainstream linguistic research away from behaviorism, constructivism, uh, empiricism and structuralism and towards the mentalism nativism, rationalism and generativism respectively, taking as its main object of study the abstract inner workings of the human mind related to language acquisition and production. In aspects, Chomsky summarized his proposed structure of a grammar in the following way. A grammar contains a syntactic component, a semantic component and a phonological component. The syntactic component consists of a base and a transformational component. The base in turn consists of a categorial subcomponent and a lexicon. The base generates deep structures. A deep structure enters the semantic component and receives a semantic interpretation. It is mapped by transformational rules into a surface structure which is then given a phonetic interpretation by the rules of the phonological component. In this grammar model, 
syntax is given a prominent generative role whereas phonology and semantics are assigned secondary interpretive roles. This theory of grammar would later come to be known as the standard theory in short ST. The base subcomponent. The base in the syntactic component functions as follows. In the first step, a simple set of phrase structure rules generate tree diagrams, sometimes called phrase markers, consisting of nodes and branches, but with empty terminal nodes. These are called pre-lexical structures. In the second step, the empty terminal nodes are filled with complex symbols consisting of morphemes accompanied by syntactic and semantic features supplied from the lexicon via lexical insertion rules. The resulting tree diagram is called a deep structure. Do the given exercise and submit on time. Thank you.